Hello everyone, I am Mila Pamplona, I am a neuroscientist and I am here at Rio de Janeiro covering the INS meeting, the International Neuropsychology Society meeting. And uh, I have, I'm, not, I'm not a psychologist, I am a biologist by formation and I work with cognition also but mostly cognition in ants, so it's very, very different and uh, very, very different from everything here. And uh, I have seen so many talks till now about uh, disorders and diseases and how the brains, is, the brains can be different and we, which kind of uh, difficult or some sort of things are not actually a disease but it's a different, it's some difficult that the, the person might have. And lo especially when it comes to learning, I mean, they, they, they have different uh, things when it's actually different classifications, when someone has uh, difficult to do something and when someone shows a very, a very extreme case of difficult. And that's mostly when it's considered as a neuropsychological disorder. And I was thinking mostly, I mean, as a biologist, when I saw all of that, I was actually thinking about variability. I mean, when it comes to to biology and to evolution and these sort of things, the most important thing is usually the it's variation. I mean, variation makes evolution possible. If everything is the same always, evolution wouldn't work the same way we know that it works. And uh, most of the times I think we as scientists and everything we forget that we all we all are a product of evolution and things like that i mean as humans we forget that we have this biological historical line nature uh, na natural line and uh, everything that came after us I mean, we forget about this in so many, many things that I, I can even... I, I don't think we look at, at us like we look to all the other organisms in Earth. And I say that as a biologist, I mean, I don't think we, we, we realize the power that variation comes in our species. And uh, thinking a little bit more about that, I was thinking... Uh, it, will, it came to my mind and it started popping in every single one of these lectures how actually all of these th changes and all this variation and sometimes this variation that we consider as a disease because it makes the person not able to do a lot of things in, that in, are required in our society they're just a product of variation and it's actually normal you know and uh, I, I say this that, that this idea is important not because I'm saying that these people don't have diseases and don't have clinical conditions because they have Mo many of the cases here actually show that and it's very important to treat them treat them like that because it's the the way we can actually make these people closer to have a better quality of life in many of the cases that I have uh, learned here here and uh, but I think we forgot forget about that a lot that our variation of our minds is, is a product of evolution and that's important to remember because in many cases the diagnosis are very hard there is a lot of heterogeneity and people don't understand exactly if it is it is a disease or it is not a disease or is something in between because it, we have a continuum of variability. We we don't have things binary that would make this this discussion much much simpler. We don't have that. So it's important to remember that variation exists. I think in this context because especially I think to avoid things like treating something, someone, especially someone, as something they're not. I mean, not being able to do some things doesn't mean you're not 
a functional human. I mean, I saw a case today that about neuro rehabilitation that was about a boy and he see, he didn't have a lot of parts of his hemisphere his left hemisphere in the brain. I mean, a lot of parts when we saw we see his fMRI it's very weird the images. I mean, it, it, it seems like it's lacking a lot of things and uh, it actually is and uh, it had a lot of implications in his life. I mean, he couldn't move the, his right hand, rent well, and a lot of things like that. He, he had very difficult things to learn and a lot of these things. But while the, the research showed that actually he could do a lot of things, a lot more than we thought, uh, primarily at, at his diagnosis, because his brain was so plastic, like many, many other cases like that, that he could had some parts that w were very well developed, so it would help him do other things. I mean, he couldn't move he, his right hand, but he loved music, and he was really good at music. He could learn the drums and to play and, and a lot of instruments by, only by himself. He had a really, really good rhythm, and when he played, he could do all the things that he couldn't before with his hands. I mean, he couldn't hold things very well with his right hand, but when it comes to play the drums, he, he used both hands the same way, and he played very well. And also he played the guitar after, and a lot of things like that. The last video cut it, so I don't know exactly where it stopped. But the point is that the, the kid learned so many things and he was better than normal, normal people when it comes to music. I mean, it's not that easy to learn so many instruments by, by, your, by yourself. I mean, I play the drums. It's very hard to learn by yourself. And uh, the thing is that we have a, a system that is our brains. And it, it is a very complex but very powerful system. I mean, he can deal with a lot of different information. He can retain and learn a lot of different information. But also, he can deal with problems when, he, because of neuroplasticity. I mean, we we shouldn't look of all these differences, all the difference in behavior, as some sort of disease or something that's wrong. I mean, if a kid is just he he he, work, he does a lot of things in class and he, he it's hard for him to pay attention sometimes the kid doesn't have tdah or something like that he just is because of his personality he he's not a quiet and shy kid he does a lot of things and uh, that's the the main point i think I, I wanted to get here it's because we have a lot of differences in in that doesn't make us less human actually i think that make us more human because our brains and everything that is related to our evolution made this variation so so strong and it, they are really really important and we can forget about that even when we we think in that in cases in clinical cases and things like that sometimes people lost uh, lose hope in, in some patients and I think this this sort of example of the the boy with, with that learn music it's the best example to understand that people can do a lot more than we we think they they can they can even if they are not exactly like us that and like us I mean normal people and something like that that's it so see you later in another videos I'm not sure if I, I will see something that is gonna provoke me so much as this last team but that's it see you